could you explain to us what is a sunnah, what does it mean, and how many types of sunnah are there? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah, wa ala ali wa sahibi ajmeen, amma baad, a'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem, rabbi shahli sadri, wa isli amri, wa ahlul ugdata min lisaani yafqa kawli. The word sunnah literally means the way or the custom and the sunnah of the prophet means the way of the prophet or the prophet's tradition. The word sunnah, it indicates and means the things, the deeds and the approval of the prophet in the span of 23 years during his prophethood. It means what the prophet said, what the prophet did and what the prophet approved in the span of 23 years during his prophethood. And the sunnah of the prophet can be divided into three types. The first is sunnah kali that means the sayings of the prophet. The second is sunnah faili that means the actions of the prophet. And the third is sunnah takriri which means the approval of the prophet. So basically these three types of sunnah are there in three different categories. Okay. That um, seems very straightforward, but could you perhaps, uh, for the benefit of the viewers and myself, give cite some examples of each of the different categories you've mentioned? The example of the first type of sunnah, that's sunnah akali, the sayings of the Prophet. For example, Muhammad said in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adan, hadith number 631, the Prophet said, pray as you see me praying. So this is a commandment of the Prophet. It's a saying of the Prophet. And it is the duty of a Muslim that we should follow it. The example of the second type of sunnah, sunnah faili, that is the deeds of the Prophet, is mentioned in, for example, Sayyid Bukhari, volume number one, book of Adhan, hadith number 736. Here it says that the Sahaba who narrates, Whenever I saw the Prophet of a Salah, he used to raise his hand up to the shoulders. And then, when he said the Takbir, he again did the same action, raised the hand up to the shoulders, and then he bowed down. When he came up, he said, Sami Allah Ali bin Hamida. That Allah hears those who praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Again, he did the same action, that is, raised his hands up to the shoulders. But he did not do the action, raising the hands up to the shoulders, between the two prostrations when he said the takbir. So this is the action of the Prophet. A sahaba sees the action and narrates it. This becomes sunnat faili The third type of sunnat is the sunnat takriri that is the approval of the Prophet. And the example is given in Sunnah Abu Daud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1262, where once the Prophet, he prayed the Fajr Salah, he leads the Fajr Salah in the congregation, and after the Salah is over, he sees a man, after Salah, he gets up and he offers two rakat Salah. So the Prophet says, the Fajr Salah is only of two rakat, indicating why did you offer two rakat again? So he said, that I did not offer the two sunnat salah before fajr first. That's the reason I'm offering it now. And the Prophet kept silent. Now, because the Prophet was silent, it gives the indication that he approved it. Because if something is wrong, it's the duty of the Prophet to correct it. So because he kept silent, it gives an approval. So this comes in the third category of sunnah, that's sunnat takriri, approval of the Prophet. In these three types of sunnah, if all the hadiths are authentic, all the hadiths are sahih, the sunnah that carries the maximum weight is sunnah kali, that is the sayings of the Prophet. Because that is the general ruling. Because if a Prophet says something, or if the Prophet commands something, it means he has done it intentionally and with a purpose, that is the highest degree among the three. The next is sunnah faili, that is the action of the Prophet. What the Prophet did, maybe a Sahaba saw it and narrates it. 
But there can be occasions where a prophet did certain things out of necessity, which may not be the normal norm. Therefore, the action of the prophet carries less weight than the sayings of the prophet. Saying is with consciousness, and that is the general ruling. And if there is a difference between the saying and the action of the prophet, the saying of the prophet carries more weight. Because maybe the action was done out of some reason or out of some purpose, which the person who is seeing it, he may not be aware of it. And we'll have such examples. I'll give some examples in future, inshallah, in this episode. And the third amongst the three is the sunnah e takriri approval of the Prophet. That means he kept silent, that means it is approved, it is permissible.